Hey guys, today I have something a little different, a little something extra. I've got a lot of questions about my animated logo for the bloop intro, and I decided just for fun to make an animated logo template for After Effects. So basically it's just a template that you can download, uh, open in After Effects, replace the logo with whatever logo you have, and you can render a pretty cool animated logo for your, uh, for your company videos or YouTube channel or whatever you want. It's gonna look like this. It's just a few seconds um, with camera motion on your logo. And you can replace this with whatever, whatever logo you want. I'll show you how. Basically, I've uh, made three different lengths. Uh, so we have a three second one, five second, and a seven second. They're all 1080. Uh, they're all, each one is uh, has different parts of the animation to fit the, the, the length. So this one is kind of short, three seconds, only a little uh, side view at the beginning and then uh, the, the final logo reveal. The five second has a little bit more animation before and they all end uh, the same way. And the seven second is the one we just saw. So I'll show you how to, you don't need to know After Effects at all to use this template, it's really easy. All you have to do is go to the composition called logo placeholder. I'm gonna just bring in a different logo. Let's take this logo, bring it in, put this instead, and under the anima the logo animation composition you can change the background. So you just select the background setting null and you can switch. There is a 27 different backgrounds. So just choose the one that fits. Let's let's choose the one that complements the colors of this particular logo. I like the black and white one, but uh, I think this one works pretty well. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You know, now you just go to the, the time that you want. Uh, let's go for the seven seconds one. I'll pre-render it really quick. And all the animation is already built in. You don't have to do anything. Just replace the logo, change, change the background to whatever background you want. You can even add backgrounds of your own. You don't have to use the ones that I have. And let's see how it looks. So once you replace the logo with your own and pick the background that you want, to, in order to render, all you have to do is go to the uh, timing that you want. Let's say you want the seven seconds one. And Go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, and that's it. Now it's in your Render Queue. You can uh, change the format to H.264, change whatever name you want to give it, save, and render. That's it. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and visit our website at bloopanimation.com.